So let's go through our Hello World program thoroughly and I'll explain all the various parts that make it up. So the notes that I was talking about are called comments and there are two types, single line and multi-line or block quotes. The first thing I did was a block quote and they are started with a forward slash and an asterisk and ended with an asterisk and a forward slash. Anything between these two doesn't get compiled, so feel free to write whatever you want in there. The other type of comment is the single line, and that started with two slashes. And that means that anything after that till the end of the line won't get compiled either. The first line of our program that gets compiled is the include line. And this is a hash followed by the word include, and then inside angled brackets, the file that we want to include. In this case, we're including stdio.h. Next is our main function. And you may have noticed that I started it with the word int. I'll go into exactly what this means in the next chapter, but for the moment, it just means that it returns a number. So I've written int, and then the name of the function, main, and then inside brackets, I'm writing what the function gets in. In this case, it's nothing, so I've written void. Again, I'll go into what that means in the next chapter. Next is braces or curly brackets, and it's important to note that you need matching pairs or your program won't compile. So I have an opening brace and a closing brace. Next is the printf function. That's done by writing printf, and then, just like the main, inside brackets, I'm writing what the function gets in. In this case, it's the, the words hello world, and then a backslash n character to tell it that I want a new line at the end. Next is a semicolon, which shows the end of a statement, unlike in languages like Python, where you would just go to the next line. Next is the return line, and it's how you exit a function, and in the case of main, how you exit the program. Now I've returned zero, which is a standard way of showing that a program has ended successfully but you can return any number you want. And a reason you might do this is to show the different types of errors your program has had. A good example of this is the popular program 7-zip. They've done the same thing, using zero to show that the program has ended without error, but they've also used the other numbers to show the different types of errors that may occur. This is really handy if you want to use your program in a script, as you'll be able to tell if it worked properly or not. That's it, you've successfully completed chapter one, have written your first program, and now have a basic understanding of how to write a program in C. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in our forum and I'll be happy to answer them for you. I'm Josh, I'll look forward to seeing you in chapter two.